Back in 1986, our first home rule charter went into effect, and we reviewed it approximately 10 years ago, made a few minor changes. Uh, about a year and a half ago, one of our town meeting members uh, offered an instructional motion. We hadn't looked at the charter in many years, and so it was really time to take a look-see and, and see if anything needed to be refreshed, see what things in town had changed, such that the charter could be a living document. The instructional motion carried, and it created a committee that would be appointed by the moderator, and ideally we'd have at least one member from each precinct. We came pretty close to that. We had 15 volunteers. As moderator, I felt that anybody that was interested in, uh, in working on this should be on the committee. Being a town meeting member for now, I believe I'm coming up in 21 years, it, I approached the moderator and said, I'd be interested in doing this. As a relatively new town meeting member, uh, I decided that this was an opportunity to give back to the town and to participate in the, uh, in the practice uh, on a personal level. As moderator, I had a, a little bit of a problem where I would also be moderating the town meeting when this went to that body for a vote. So early on, I decided that I would treat myself not so much the chairman of this committee, but as its moderator. And so out, out of that, that group, the, the committee was formed. It, um, include, including uh, at least several members who were involved in the original charter. It worked very well. We had a lot of experience. We had a town meeting member that's been there for 47 years. We had two original members from the original charter committee back in the 1980s. And we had a couple of people that were on the review committee 10 years ago. We had two public hearings and as the usual in public hearings, uh, one person showed up at one and I think two people showed up for the other. Uh, however, we did offer public hearings for anybody that wanted to come. Part of it, I think, is just the charter being such a high-level document. I don't think people see it or interact with it as much as, say, they do with zoning or the bylaw, um, though it is important because it's really the, the foundation on which everything else of the town government is built. Probably the best thing that we had was when we would share copies of the document with various boards when we'd review them, sometimes we'd have folks come in and talk to us about what, uh, what they were doing so that we could understand how best to either change the, the charter to, to suit their needs or to leave it alone because it, it already did suit their needs. I think the only controversy that came about was the um, assessors being uh, appointed instead of elected. Over the last few years we've discussed making it an appointed position by the Board of Selectmen instead. We solicited feedback from the current Board of Assessors and other members of town government and determined that with the really spe specific skill set that's required that we thought it would be better rather than have an election and choose the most popular candidate to have uh, our town leaders be involved in evaluating who the best candidate might be and making that choice. So what will happen if the charter passes is that the Board of Selectmen would appoint the assessors now, who then, who then are responsible for keeping the records of property values and delivering in a timely fashion that information to the selectmen so they can set the tax rates. If you go back in history, as I often do, at one time they were appointed by the Board of Selectmen. So I think uh, it's come back to being appointed by the Board of Selectmen. So th what goes around comes around. Nothing, nothing changes the date and the calendar. There are a lot of other changes that we put in that were just organizational and wording changes, which we felt made the document easier to use. Looked at kind of what stood out. For example, um, at, at the end of the charter was a whole section on how the transition would work in 1984 from the old, old government to the new Home Rule Charter, uh, which clear, clearly was no longer applicable. We get comfortable with what we have. Oh, it works, we know how to use it, and the effort to make a change, as, as we've seen from this you know, year plus long effort, and the need to go to the legislature for part of it, the need to go to the voters for part of it, there's a, a, it's very easy to become complacent and not look at the document does it, does it reflect the realities of current state law? Does it reflect the realities of how the, business, how the town really runs? We not only looked at the sections that we decided to change, we looked closely at the sections that we decided not to change. 
And in the process with everyone talking about what interested them, how they understood what the, what the charter actually said, we all learned more about certain key provisions of the document that maybe we didn't even understand beforehand. And if we understand it better, we can help communicate that to uh, everyone else as well. In the end, I think we came out with a damn good uh, charter. One of the great things of going through this process was that all of the committee members got to have one-on-one -on -one contact with uh, numerous town officials. Everything that we did was reviewed by town council. We had many meetings where the town manager sat in. The town clerk was uh, an active participant in helping us with the document, letting us know uh, things that we could and could not do. It went through the uh, town meeting by a very sizable vote. It was nearly unanimous. Uh, the process is that it now has to go on the ballot for the entire voting population to vote on. That's what we'll be voting on at this election day. Well, I know that everyone should have received a copy in the mail from the town explaining uh, uh, that they're going to have to vote on the charter changes and giving them a copy of the charter. Uh, I hope that everyone takes a look-see and, and even if you just skim it, you get a flavor for what kinds of things you know, were done. Uh, as per state law, every household received a copy of the, the, the charter with its proposed changes. And you've probably received that already in the mail and we hope you have a chance to take a look at that.